All praise to the Most High. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for another day. The rest is up to me. Let's go get it. Surviving P. Diddy. Yeah, P. Diddy in a world of trouble, y'all. It's safe to say that P. Diddy gonna be looking at some type of legal issues. Whether it's uh, going to jail or whether they taking all this money, man. Uh, the young lady, he was dating her for years. And she come out saying uh, women trafficking. That right there whole weight. They coming after Diddy. You might not heard nothing now about him getting in trouble, but it's coming. Because she filed it right. See, New York passed uh, an adult uh, sex crime act uh, uh, for women. And you had up until November 2023. And she filed just in time. So we're going to have all type of shows like R. Kelly, Surviving P. Diddy, coming to a theater near you. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. I can't really agree with this young lady uh, about P. Diddy for the simple fact. You was dating him. You had plenty of times to get away. All them years y'all was together. This what I don't understand, like with R. Kelly, his wife. You was right along with it at some point. Yeah, you was going along with it at some point. Now, I don't know what happened. Now, you coming out now. You ain't got no more money. The bills is due. These the reason why people come out, like with Will Smith. A lot of people start coming at people just for money. So do I believe this young lady... Some of the stuff she's saying is true, but some of it's not. Some of it's not true, y'all. Because if it's all true, then she should be in trouble right along with P. Diddy. And, and R. Kelly wife should be in trouble right along with R. Kelly. See, a lot of these people do this for the money, man. They do it for the money. But get ready for surviving P. Diddy. Shine Puffy Gomes at a theater near you. <laughs> on to the next one now my favorite rapper of all time is snoop dogg and snoop dogg just recently made a post about him giving up smoking and i just want to say to snoop dogg d-o-double-g salute to you my brother uh even if you stop for a day snoop dogg and start back tomorrow that's cool at least you conscious in your mind to know that you've been doing it for a long time and you're ready to stop, Snoop. So salute the Snoop and he want privacy at this time because a lot of a lot of devils coming out now and like, man, Snoop, why you stop smoking? And you know, coming up with all type of evil stuff instead of congratulating Snoop Dogg on not smoking because Snoop been the face of weed for so many years. I want to salute to Snoop Dogg. Now, on to the next. I seen the video of a young lady on TikTok. She's a school teacher. The young lady said she teach five-year-olds. And she asked them what's their favorite song. And the songs that these five-year-olds was coming up with just goes to show it's the parents' fault. It's not the kids' fault. It's never the kids' fault. Pound Town, all the disgusting songs these kids want to hear. And they know it word for word, but they don't know the ABCs and one, two, threes. The black community ain't shit, y'all. Our people ain't shit from the politicians to the celebrities to the motherfucking women that's in charge of these kids and the niggas that's running off from the kids in the, in the mother... The black community ain't shit. And it's over for us, y'all. Black people, it's over for us. I know a lot of y'all gonna get mad with me saying that, but it's the truth. First of all, the youth is the future. Look at our future. Look at our youth. They gonna be over-sexualized. Black people already hate each other. They been hating each other since they let it out of slavery. That's that Willie Lynch syndrome. Black people hate each other. Kids growing up hating black people. It's over-sexualized. Uh, 
gang banging. Oh my God, man. The cycle is going to continue in the black community, man. Yep, yep, yep. Until we take a stand, man. It's your boy Abdullah for really number one cap pillar. I got to get it to him. I'm from the block, so you know I got to get it to him. Y'all enjoy this beautiful Friday, man, with your loved ones. And uh, take it easy out there. S.A.